David Thorne has a couple of very interesting runners at Club and Angle on Tuesday afternoon, both resuming from a spell. I caught up with David to discuss their prospects, and also those of Antonia and Miss X, two of his star stable performers. How are their progressing? David, two interesting runners at Club and Angle on Tuesday afternoon, both resuming from a spell, the first in the uh, third of it, number eight, a real gentleman. Yeah, no, he's a nice two-year-old. Um, he's had a couple of trials back. We haven't really pulled him out at the trials. He's just followed him around and got home in good quarters and, and did it really easy. So, um, yeah, no, it, it's not a bad field. Um, he's drawn out a bit wide, but if they go hard enough, he'll be right in the finish. I thought in the ninth event, go Jack Ryan was a very interesting runner. I thought he may have been one of the better bets on the card. Yeah, he's a pretty good horse uh, on ability. Uh, we've just had a few issues with him, so that's why he hasn't raced for a while. But um, worked very good this morning, so... Um, I think if he does everything right, he'd be very hard to beat. Yeah, three placings back in May. Two of those behind Gliding Away. We know Gliding Away is a very honest and talented performer. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And he probably wasn't right to be 100%. Um, at his first start, he would have gone win easy and he galloped at the top of the straight. So um, and he still ran fifth. So, yeah, no, he's a pretty good horse when he's right. And, uh, and hopefully he's back to his best. How's the stable star Antonio progressing? Yeah, she come back on Monday. Um, looks unbelievable. Looks like she could go to the races tomorrow. So, um, but no, she's had probably three and a half months off, so won't see her for a while. We're just really mainly targeting the Ladyship Mile and and then sort of whatever after that. Miss X trialled nicely last week. Dave, you must have been pleased with that performance. Yeah, for sure. The time was really good. Um, she was only out there for a bit exercise, but um, she's in the Breeders' Challenge next Thursday at Penrith. So, um, yeah, that's, that's quite a long series. So, um, yeah, hopefully she just keeps getting better and better. Dave, you look to have a very promising type on the books after the win of Heaven on High here last Tuesday. Let out comfortably, relaxed nicely, sprinted home brilliantly. Yeah, he went probably better than I thought. Uh, he trialled good here last week, but uh, we changed a little bit of gear after the trial. And, um, you know, I, said, oh, I thought he could win the race, but I didn't think he'd win like that. So that's always a good sign when one goes better than what you think. So, no, he's a really good gated horse, and I think he's got a bright future. A, did he exceed expectations, and because of that win, have you changed plans? He did ex exceed their probably expectations off his trial. Uh, I don't work them that hard, so sort of don't get a brilliant guide off their work. Um, but no, he definitely, um, you know, went went better than I probably thought. And I was probably going to put him in here Saturday night. I didn't realise the carousel was even on, to be honest. So that worked out perfect for us. And he's low grade, so he should draw good. And I think he'll be hard to beat. Races under the banner of Brendan Mickle syndications. What a wonderful period of racing for Brendan as far as number of winners he's had in recent period times, but also the fact he's bringing a lot of people to the races. Yeah, for sure. There was probably 30 people there the other day, so that's great for us. You know, it probably doubles the crowd here every Tuesday. So, um, no, they're doing a really good job and they've had a really good week. Sometimes it's harder to keep owners or train owners than it is the horse now. Included in that syndication, Dave, is none other than Frederick Hastings, renowned race caller. How's he been to handle? No, he's been all right. Um, yeah, no, we've been looking for a horse for quite a while, so we finally got one for him, and, uh, yeah, no, uh, no, no drama at all. It's good when you can go to the races with the syndication, as you mentioned, with so many people, have immediate success. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, it's always good to get the monkey off your back, so... Um, yeah, no, I think he, he's got a bright future. Well, no, let's hope the uh, two on Tuesday afternoon run well and we'll be looking forward to uh, Heaven on High going to the track once again. Yeah, for sure. No, definitely he should be next week. So, uh, yeah, no, it's good times.